Hello friends. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about camel case program in C language. So, this is my input and output. Camel case is nothing but converting first letter of each word into uppercase and all other letters should be in lowercase. You can understand this by seeing input and output given here. Now let's get to the program. First I am declaring two integer variables, i and l. I am using i for for loop operation. And l is nothing but the length of string. After that, I am declaring an array of characters variable line. Then I am printing enter line for better understanding. And now, I am inputting a line with the scan f statement. Usually we use percentage s statement to input a string word. But here, since our input is a line, I am using the scan f statement which inputs a sentence. Now I am printing input in the console for better understating. Now, I am introducing a for loop and initial value of i is 0 and it will be incremented in each iteration. And this for loop will go through each character in the line until it reaches null character. So, this is the null character. As you know, in C language, there will a null character at the end of each string word or line. And now, in this statement I am calculating the length of characters in the line. In this if statement I am changing all the characters in the line to lowercase. As you can see, in this ASCII chart the ASCII value of lowercase alphabet starts with 97. So if the characters in the line is uppercase, the ASCII value of such characters will be less the or equal to 96. So if their ASCII value is less than or equal to 96, I am going to change such characters into lowercase by using this statement. So in this statement, I am just adding 32 to the character, for example I am having an uppercase alphabet A in my sentence, the ASCII value of uppercase letter A is 65. Now adding 32 makes it 97 which is the ASCII value of lowcase letter A. Like this uppercase letters in the input sentence will be converted into lowercase letters. Now let's come to space. Space is also a character. And as you can see in this ASCII chart, the ASCII value of space is 32. Now adding 32, makes it 64 which is the ASCII value of at symbol. So, at the end of this for loop, all uppercase letters will be converted to lowercase letters and all space in the input sentence will be converted into at symbol. Now I am printing the sentence to let you see how the statement has been changed after the for loop. Since the first letter should always be in capital, I am changing first letter to capital with this statement. Now, I am introducing another for loop and initial value of i is 0 and it will be incremented in each iteration. And this for loop will go through each character in the line until i is less than l where l is the length of the line. As you can see in the input and output, the next character to space should be converted to capital. So in this if statement, I am searching for at symbol and if line of i is equal to at, I am changing it back to space by subtracting 32 from from that character. And, I am subtracting 32 from next character to space, the next character will be converted from lowercase character to uppercase character. Now. After this for loop I am printing the output camel case sentence. Now, I am going to run this in a compiler. As you can see this is the input. So in the output, I am first printing enter line statement. Then I am printing the input statement itself for better understanding. Then this the second print statement after converting all uppercase characters to lowercase characters and converting space to at symbol. And finally, the third print statement is the output which is in camel case format. Thank you for watching.